Karen, thanks for joining us. Can you walk us through the Crown's closing arguments? Yeah, so we heard closing arguments on Thursday from both the Crown and the defense uh, in the Braden Bushby manslaughter trial. Uh, we know that Braden Bushby has admitted to throwing the trailer hitch at Barbara Kentner, which struck her in the, uh, the stomach and ruptured her bowel more than three years ago here in Thunder Bay in an unprovoked assault. Uh, so now the judge will have to decide if that incident ultimately led to her death about five months later. Um, and so over the last four days, we heard quite a bit of evidence from Barbara Kentner through a video testimony recorded recorded shortly before she passed away, her sister, uh, the two individuals who were in the car with Braden Bushby when he threw the metal trailer hitch at Barbara Kentner, and also a forensic pathologist who conducted uh, Ms. Kentner's autopsy and numerous medical, rec medical reports of um, Barbara Kentner. Um, and right from the start, the Crown has made it very clear that Barbara Kentner had significant health issues prior to being struck by the trailer. The Crown is saying if it wasn't for the injury she suffered as, as a result of being hit by that trailer hitch that she wouldn't have died when she did. Uh, the Crown attorney in this case also pointed out, regardless of her underlying health conditions, there is a clear link between her injury uh, from the trailer hitch and to her death five months later. Uh, the Crown does not have to prove uh, Braden Bushby's act was the only cause of Kentner's death, death just that it was a significant factor. Um, and the Crown argued that Dr. Rose, uh, Dr. Rose's testimony proved that argument uh, beyond a reasonable doubt. What was in that postmortem? What was the autopsy result uh, in terms of a cause of death? We learned from uh, Barbara Kenner's autopsy report that she died from complications as a result from that ruptured bowel okay. from the blunt force trauma and end stage liver disease was a contributing factor but was not the direct cause of her death. That's important. Uh, so what was the, the defense's argument that, that he should not be found guilty for manslaughter? What, were, what was that argument? Right. So Bushby's defense team is contesting uh, what the Crown is saying, obviously. Uh, they're saying that there's no legal link between the assault of Kentner and her death months later. Well, and then a sacred fire was set for Barbara Kentner ahead of the four-day trial. A sunrise ceremony closed uh, that trial. You know, what's the mood given that they're not going to have a verdict until December 14th? That's a long time of waiting. Right. Um, it's it's tough to say. Um, you know, there was demonstration in support of Barbara Kentner while the trial took place, uh, demanding justice for Barbara Kentner and Indigenous women in general. Um, you know, and the, and the Kentner family was present at the trial every single day. Uh, there's no doubt it's been a very uh, emotional week for them just hearing the trial. And, and having these graphic medical records of Barbara Kentner on display in open court, it's certainly... I can only imagine it hasn't been easy for them. Mm -hmm. um, and just before the trial even began, the sisters uh, said that they just want this, the legal proceedings just to be done and over with. Yeah. Okay, well, Karen, thank you for taking the time to share uh, this with us. And, and I guess we'll, we'll see what happens on December 14th. Thank you.